Alright. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Suite. And uh yeah, we're hopefully gonna finish this, maybe. Uh but yeah, today uh what I was doing is uh I was training. Um because honestly I, I think I was in a bad very bad kind of uh like I guess state. Uh, in terms of like my Pokemon and my focus Suites and all that stuff because nothing's nothing's leveled absolutely nothing's leveled um, as we can see here we got some people uh, so uh, Pond Sour did evolve which was really really nice to buy Sour uh, but as you can see some changes so uh, we got Stromelian, by Sour, and Tart Turtle um, they are now a little bit higher leveled so uh, hopefully we can progress and yeah so what we're actually gonna do today is not do that um but we're we're going to do is uh hopefully just kind of go back so what i want to get done today is not this um and uh yeah we're just gonna see if we can get if we can't we'll just run and then Okay, let's just run. Okay, nice thing the cup feels under. But basically, the idea that we want to do is that um, let we want to go upward from uh, what was Lavender Town, um, but uh, I cannot remember what it was. And apparently, this area that that kind of like building tower uh, is definitely a little bit more post game, which. Um, uh, considering the fact they don't stop us from accessing it, a little bit concerned just because uh, hopefully we don't have to reach it. But I think, considering that I think we hit some very high level Pokemon over there, um, it's going to be a while. So what we're going to do is actually go upwards and try to see if we can get to where usually the power plant is. Um, which if we kind of uh, not do that again... If we look at our town map, we can see that we want to get to this ginger woods and cake tunnel area, which I think used to be the power plant. And then basically, uh, hopefully, maybe we can get to uh, Black Forest, uh, either going through Rainbow City or we go by way of Snorlax, which I think is over there. If we do go the Snorlax way, I do need to stock up um, on Pokeballs because I do want to catch it. Apparently, their Snorlaxes cannot be... or uh, I don't think Snorlax is the correct term. Uh, actually, I think it's it's called a different game, but basically it's the usual Snorlax is uh, is blocking a road and we have a cake that we can use to wake it up. So with that, we're just going to, speaking of cake, we're going to go into Cake Tunnel. So I, on a previous episode, I have entered through this and have fought some of the trainers. I have not fought all of it, of course, but... Um, Basically, as you can see, this is an area that was previously unexplored, um, so it is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, or in terms of the Pokemon are going to be a little bit weaker. Unfortunately, I don't have an XP share, um, which I still have no clue how you're supposed to get that. Um, according to that, uh, they, according to a guide I have found, um, it does say that the XP share is given to you after you catch a certain amount of Poke Sweets. So what we're going to do, be doing also is catch, trying to catch as many Poke Sweets as we can, um, in order to kind of just buff up our uh, Pokemon. And as you can see, I have animations turned off because it does take a really long time. Um, but I think I might turn them back on and then try to kind of sweep through it. And I think what I've decided is that I'm going to try to show kind of as many battles kind of that I deem worthy, quote unquote worthy, um, and so on and so forth. But some some boring battles I will cut um, if there's like no real commentary or if I'm not in the middle of saying anything. But I'm usually talking so it's kind of uh, hard to say. Um, I was going to do something and I can't remember what it was. But... Basically, we have not explored this area, which is, um, it's great. It's just the cake tunnel. It's probably just having a lot of Pokemon that we either should have explored, or we should have, like, seen or not. Um, so hopefully this will be a breeze, um, and that this will not take us forever. 
but I am never you're never sure I'm never sure with these things just because um as you can see the battles do dra tend to drag on for fa far longer than I usually am used to but a big part of it is due to the fact that well um that the animation actually is a little bit slower I guess you can say um, so this was something that I was talking to with a friend where apparently in P Pokemon Platinum because uh, Diamond Pearl, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl came out, um, is that the animation for the health bar going down in Platinum is actually a lot faster than in the original Pearl, a Diamond and Pearl. Whereas in here, I'm assuming it's also still like slower, but that might just be because due to the system and stuff like that. But there's just a very interesting tidbit of knowledge that apparently like they did measure it and Platinum actually did have a faster kind of animation for the health bar. And look at this new Pokemon, Kangas Cake. Um, so what we're going to do is hopefully not kill it too bad but we're gonna try to catch that because that is definitely a new poke new poke suite and always nice to have stuff so apparently maybe we have gone through this maybe we've gone through this through the other way um if we can just pop over there really quickly and see and if it is then coming back i will cut that and then we'll head over try to head over to the next town city whatever you want to call it um but it does seem I might have explored this area, meaning that I just never saw the Kangas cake. Um, not sure how that happened, but we'll just uh, continue. Um, I might fast forward through a lot of this, so yeah. Um, all right, finish that. All right, please, thank you. And then with that, I'm going to fast forward and if there's anything new, um, yeah, you'll see it. All right, then. See ya. So it does seem like we have explored that area. Um, actually, fully. Uh, must be... For some reason, I guess I didn't go through all the way back down here, which was... which is interesting. Um, but with that, what we're going to do is then continue on. And let's just uh, do a really quick check of my Pokeballs. And hopefully we have enough. Okay, we don't. Uh, so what we're going to do is just hop over the shop and then buy some Ultra Balls. Or, okay, maybe not. Great Balls. Uh, let's buy 17. Yes. I have enough money to burn. And let's just buy some Super Potions. So I really like buying stuff in the sets of 5. 10 um it's kind of like a thing i guess uh antidote we have enough paralyzed heal let's get eight and then i think that should be okay i don't know what the next gym is so we're gonna be it's gonna be interesting uh hopefully okay so this is where we're supposed to be heading down and then hopefully we should be able to see our uh no. okay so we don't want that and i don't have unfortunately i do not have anything that knows surf though i don't know where you can learn it which is i think part of the reason why i don't know any of the hms because i don't know okay all right so we're, we're i'm going to actually what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to do a really quick save and then come back to this because uh it's going to I, I really want to catch this pokemon because yeah um and i don't know how strong my pokemon are so it's gonna be pretty interesting so yeah i'm gonna save and then we're going to come back and whatever you're gonna see hopefully it's gonna be caught and <laughs> cross your fingers so yeah All right, hopefully this works. Hopefully just one liquor whip should be fine. Okay. Oh no. Oh, zest is like the, the version of rest. Okay. Ooh, rip. okay. Oh no, chesto berry. Oh, okay, so that's, that's one of its, but that should only work once. We should be fine. 
Um, I think I just have to do another one and then we should be able to try it. We should be able to at least try to catch it. At least attempt to catch it, I guess you can say. Um, it is sleep, is, is asleep, which is very nice because that gives us our very nice kind of, um, should I just go for the Ultra Ball? I really do want this, like, a lot. Oh no. Okay, it's still fast asleep. Let's try that again. Uh, disgusting. Okay, another Ultra Ball, hopefully. Okay, one, two, three. Give me shakes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, it's not a sleep, which doesn't give me the extra boost, but I really can't afford to make it hungry. Oh, it's a s'more lax. I get it. I get it. Okay, we have our great balls now. If it goes to sleep again, we'll just have to like vine with it and then we'll be fine. Or liquor with it and then we'll be fine. Unfortunately, the Great Balls does not, does not seem to be doing much, but uh, Fudgesaur is really tanky, so this should be a breeze, or, like, this is a battle of attrition. Like, I can, I can stand here long enough. The, I think the only issue that I'm going to have, though, is either he runs out of moves, um, I run out of Pokeballs, which is currently seeming more like the case. Alright, unfortunate. I have to just I'm fine with it one more time and pray for not uh for it. Okay, no crit. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, and then we're just gonna do another great ball. Good thing I stock up on the Unfortunately they don't sell ultra balls. I do they sell them after the fifth dream, I guess? Oh, it's still not being caught. This is just very upsetting. I wonder what happens if you make him, like, some other, uh, I guess some other status effect. Does Zest override it? I'm assuming Zest does not override something like that. Because that would be, like, kind of crazy and kind of stupid. Um, but, yeah, especially since... Okay, unfortunately, I am drowsy now. Um, which is not good, because... I guess if he goes to sleep one more time... I can use an item, and then, or I can just use an item now. No, no, we're gonna try to catch this again, um, and just kind of use up this turn, try to catch it, and then if he uses Zest again, I will, I will try, to, I will try to heal and awaken uh, Fedrasaur, and then uh, it should be okay. Oh my God. What is the chances for catching this? I mean, I usually do not have this much trouble doing it, but I can't afford to hit him with another Fudgersaur. With Fudgersaur's attack. Because he will die, and it will be f not- He will faint, and uh, I will not have a Smorlax. Because apparently- Yeah, like I said, there's apparently only two in this game. Um, which is very interesting. But, we got it. And that's first try, which is really nice. I didn't have to reuse the save file. And that's always good. Okay. Smarlax. Its body is a thick, gooey mass of marshmallow coated in rich chocolate. It never stops adding to its mass. That sounds absolutely terrifying. So, what we're going to call it, we're not going to call it anything. But this kind of reminds me of, there's this, uh, there's this bear that you can buy at Ikea. Uh, I swear I am going somewhere with this. But there's this bear you can buy at Ikea. There's like this giant bear. And I, if I, if the name, if I remember this correctly, the name of the bear is called the Jungle Skunk. I probably butchered the name of that really badly, but <laughs> it's just this giant bear, like just, just massive, chonky dude, and he's great. Uh, my friends really like him. He's uh, really funny to see, and yeah, it just kind of reminded me of that because with the chocolate and stuff like that. And what we're going to do is, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna, we're actually gonna switch Fudgesaur out for our Strawmander, a Strawmelian, sorry, strawry, and then hopefully, let's see if this gives us the Fisherman Rod. But the view is nice as night. Oh my gosh, do you not give? 
Uh, sad. It's a blank chart of sorts. Right, writing in records. Okay. I thought you get the fishing rod from this dude. Do you not? I guess not. She's unfortunate. Okay, we'll just wait for him to walk back. Lemon is my specialty. I don't know a thing about lime, though. Alright, alright, alright. We got a lemon dude. Lemon drop. Lemon drop and lemon drop. So we get the... Ah, uh, very nice, very nice. Uh... This is where I would really like like a chart, but I don't have charts, so we're just gonna see this. Um, all right, so back to the thing. Um, is is Smorlax gonna be a permanent part of the team? Uh, not super sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of Pokemon that I have not made official members of the team, and I still really do not know what my end team is going to look like. To be fair, because I'm not it. It's it's kind of weird um, to for for my end team just because I just don't know what there is. I have like Pokemon that I like, like Pokemon that I like in the main games. But does that mean that like they're good in this game? As you can see, Cuffy's really weak. To be fair, Cuffy's only level twenty two, um, so. It's a kind of a toss up here on like what's going to end up on my main team and what's not going to end up on my main team. Um, what's probably though going to happen is that uh, I'm going to have to spend another training session doing this. Hopefully the training session doesn't take five months as um, probably the last upload that I did for the series was way too long ago because life is tough and difficult and uh, I don't like editing my stuff or okay editing's fine um sometimes sometimes you just get busy it's been uh a, it's been an interesting few months to say the least um especially with the thing that cannot be named which is called covid um you know you would think i have more time I don't really i i feel like i have less time because i am bad at organizing it so yeah it's just kind of how it be some days uh, i guess we'll go for him all right what do you got i'm searching for iron i found one <laughs> yeah um so i don't know i just find it funny because i was just doing a minecraft thing before this and uh not sure when this is coming out but basically i I'm hoping to start, uh, or I guess do a Minecraft Let's Play, and we'll see how that goes, to be fair, because honestly, um, it's been kind of in the works in terms of, like, trying to figure out what I want to do for a Let's Play. Um, not- Minecraft videos are a little bit harder, I think, uh, to- to kind of, like, edit, to- to work with, um, especially since- with the new version that came out um like 1.18 uh you can just probably date it like 1.18 just came out like two days ago um you can probably date when i'm recording this it's it's kind of like good to have kind of like a fresh start because um everyone's kind of like starting off in this area so um yeah uh, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. I uh, I kind of started it, um, and I, it's gonna be interesting because I those videos are gonna be interesting to edit. I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do with this channel. To be fair, this was going to be originally do Pokemon Let's Plays, but it's kind of turned into more of a I kind of do whatever I want, which is like honestly, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I do really want to finish this um, because this has been... I started this Let's Play like a year or so ago. Not even. I started this Let's Play in August. It is now December of the next year. So I started this in like 2020 when the pandemic was like really really strong so definitely it's it's been a while considering that i'm only halfway through the game assuming no real post game because i have not checked i don't i'm pretty sure there is no post game to this this is just 
or there's no like story based post game there is like of course you can catch all the pokemon you can catch all the legendaries whatever but yeah so because of that i am not sure what i want to do so key lime road uh do you fight okay you fight um but basically yeah we'll we'll see it's um it's gonna be interesting uh what's gonna happen and, and, and honestly i really do want to finish this um i've just been lacking a little bit motivation to kind of just sit down um honestly i think part of it is just opening the game um which sounds kind of silly but sometimes it's just feels like a lot of effort to just like open up the game and start playing because once they start playing it's like oh yes uh, i know what to do you know i i can do this this is not that bad um but like before that just getting the game open sometimes it's just like oh it's kind of stressful it's kind of it's not even that stressful it's not even that bad like i'm not playing this as a nuzlocke if i was playing this as a nuzlocke this would definitely be a lot more stressful considering how many times that my uh poke sweets have uh fainted so um it should be fine um just getting just getting the rhythm down again and yeah hopefully i'll be able to at least try to try to go on like at least one video a week um it might be a little bit harder episodes might be also shorter i'm still trying to figure out what works um i've been also streaming I'm, i've been trying to stream a bit more i recently got um a new game and but the issue with that is that when streaming for it it's um I've been I, I have to go silent because I don't I can't attach my mic yet it's it's a bit weird but maybe one day I'll get that stream going a little bit better with like a capture card and everything but hopefully regardless of what happens I I have some plans um they're not really big they're kind of more on the smaller side in order to accommodate kind of my schedule and kind of how I play as a, and kind of how I am as a person, so it'll be fun. Um, but regardless, back to kind of this Pokemon, Poke Sweet. Uh, I'm getting my butt kicked, honestly. Uh, I am not doing so hot, and definitely will uh, need some like proper training after this. Um, probably what we're going to do is I'm going to look up where you get kind of the HMs and stuff like that because honestly I really really need fly because um, I feel like fly is going to be just very helpful for training um, by being able to go to a gym and then just like kind of stay there uh, because kind of part of the reason why I haven't been going to any of the lower gyms is just because I have to walk all the way back like all the way back and I do not want to do that and it's not far. It really isn't. Um, you saw kind of how we like kind of rushed through that um, initially, but it's it's not that far. It's just I kind of don't want to do it. So yes, let's get fruit punch. What is fruit punch? Fruit punch is strawberry, muscle pack power. Uh, so I guess we can get rid of uh, either one works. I I like reducing accuracy, so we'll get rid of growl. And this is always good to have fruit punch. So I think fruit punch might be similar to power punch. It's either going to be power. It's either going to be like fire punch or something similar to that. Um, so hopefully let's just kind of use it. Or apple. Okay. Apple is apple. And then what we're going to do is look at that. And at least we get rid of one. And we'll have another one. So... But yeah, um, uh, we'll see how this goes, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, maybe maybe I'll deviate from the games I play, honestly. And uh, we'll play some more RPG-like games. Uh, I have some hack and slash on the, burner, uh, on the back burner that I would love to kind of play through and uh, see how that works, to be fair. Because... Um, it would, it would be great. 
Um, the hack and slash would be a little bit harder, I think, to to play with, to be fair, um, just because of the fact that uh, the style of that is very, very more like quiet playthrough. I, I feel like the only commentary I can offer is either uh, kind of like personal commentary or um, or kind of more like little comments on kind of like the the the, the history behind the. Like the game itself which is always always good always good honestly um especially since some of the hack and slash i play are very historical driven historically driven to some extent um very just they're based on history i guess that, i guess that's like the best thing to put it um but apparently uh fruit punch is based off of i believe i, I think it's it's either power... Oh, I, I might have to check because the animation looks very similar to Power Punch and not Fire Punch. Um, so... Yeah, we'll see how that works. But the pies... I thought I thought there was going to be another pie Pokemon, but I guess the pie... The true pie Pokemon is um, the, the Squirrel again, Squirrel... Squirrel Pie game. Uh, I cannot say that properly. But... Um, it did miss, which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, with the whole thing of Fudgesword being faster is that I do get attacks off, which is not good because, as you can see, I'm running out of uh, uses of his attacks. So, um, we might have to... Oh my god, this is unfortunate. I forgot this area is just basically one giant maze. No splunking. Oh... I found that really funny. Okay. Uh, she says she's supposed to go into cave. It's fine. But these battles are honestly, I think, really long because of the fact that they are double battles. So they do make certain things a little bit challenging, I think. Um, but it should be fine, I believe. And then, all right, coffee. Coffee should be easy. Yeah, but I really do need to get that XP share for um, for the sake of being able to level stuff up without having to worry about them just dying. Because it's just very inefficient to not have an XP share. And I, I'm pretty sure they have an XP share in this... Uh, in this game. Okay, please. That was a crit. Did not do anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out Fudgesaur. Probably switch Fudgesaur out for uh, Pond Sour or er, Bi Sour. And then we're gonna have to. Okay. Okay, let's go with the banana slip and then just throw in a hungry dust. Hunger dust, so that's kind of like one of the more reliable ones to be fair. Um, so banana slip is basically the rock slide, which actually someone in the caves can teach you. So uh, if you remember the cake tunnel that I had kind of gone in, realized I actually had finished it, but for some reason never finished the end. Um, let's see what morning sun is, I think. Oh, this is synthesis. Uh... Pursuit's kind of useless, but... Let's see. Let's get rid of chocolate double kick. Because um, we kind of already have chocolate in form of Fudgeous War. And, and it never hurts to have some healing. Um, but synthesis would be better, of course. In... Okay. Oh my gosh, there's, there's someone there. I don't I don't think I can fight him. Alright, what we got here? We got a pawn sour. Right, let's just run. Um, because I really don't I really want to try saving a lot of stuff. And then we'll switch. Okay. Unfortunately, Cuffy and uh, Strawmillion are up for the count. Um, Alright, is there anything in here? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I cannot tell. I... I don't... I don't like this area. I really don't. Oh, it's not... it's not best, honestly. Cream Puff and Candix. Okay, I don't... I think what also does not help is that I don't remember anything. Um, in terms of, like, the game. Uh, I do remember our story so far. So our story so far is... Okay, slightly switched topic because I, I feel- I, I realize I kind of need to give a warning when I do this. But, um, we're gonna switch topic over to kind of the story because that's how my brain works. But, I was thinking just about how I kind of don't really know what's going on in the story, to be fair. Uh, it's- I'm kind of just here, I'm finding poke sweets. Uh, some of the chocolate bunnies are a little bit sus, to be fair. Um, one of our- one of the- one of the sisters- funny sisters really does not like us, which is fair. Um, I wouldn't like me either. Um, but yeah, they don't like us and they want us to die, which to be fair, eh, happens. Uh, considering the fact that we- like, I- I'm pretty sure in the game itself we- like, officially, um, it's canon, is that you actually eat- eat your book sweet and- the reason why it's a little bit like eh about it is just because like it's good because or it's not good it, I, i'm not putting it in that terms but it's not it wouldn't be that bad okay i don't need to fight him i can i'll come back here and fight all the trainers kind of on oh rip okay not many people have HMs. I really just need the HM. But basically, the, the I think the where, where it gets a little bit iffy is that technically in the actual Pokemon world as well, you can... You can... Um, what do you call it? You can eat actual Pokemon too. And it's not like a, it's not like a taboo or anything silly like that. It just is. Um, oh, Spore put me to sleep, which is unfortunate. Um, hopefully I can wake up. If I don't, I'll just switch over, which is unfortunate. But there's no way his life peeler does more than mine did. So the unfortunate part is that he does get... He'll, he'll get more attacks off because I'm going to be wasting time trying to waken this thing. Um, which is fine. But anyway, but like back to, back to kind of like the previous topic. It was like, technically... Uh, if anyone's watched, like, I think Game Theory or anything like that, like, you definitely know. Like, um, they definitely do, like, topics on, like, people eating Pokemon. Like, it's a thing. Like, people in the anime or in the cartoon anime, whatever you want to call it, um, like, I remember, like, one of the very initial episodes in, like, Generation 1, in, like, the OG kind of a situation, is that like um ash caught a crabby and professor oak basically was like like trying to eat it at like every single turn and honestly it's and ash was like no you can't eat my crabby and so on and so forth but like kind of confirms this that like you can't eat it it's not like professor oak is a professor for a reason but that also means that he's like you know he, he kind of knows like you, you you can eat crabbies it's kind of like a marine biologist eating like fish you know, like, yeah, you can observe your fish and do your research on fish, but you're also still can, like, eat fish. I think, like, maybe a little bit less. I'm not super sure. Like, I, I, unless, like, all my marine biologists are, like, what do you call her? Like, vegans or something and, like, refuse to eat fish. That'd be kind of funny. Um, but, yeah. So, it'll be interesting. I might... Um, but it, it's kind of just interesting because it's it's kind of like one of those things where it's like technically not all Pokemon edible because I don't think you're going to eat like a Magnemite. Uh, if you do, that would be very interesting, <laughs> um, honestly. Uh, yes, I'm going to switch out. What the? That, that was like actually a battle of attrition and you just have to like listen to me ramble about like Pokemon edibility for like the longest time. Um, but yeah. Pokemon edible and uh, to, to say that they're not is a little bit like misleading because it's like technically everything's edible 
it's, she just might die as a side effect, you know? Um, but also, like, in real life, it's, like, not every, like, you're not, depending on where you are, like, you eat different things. Like, some people eat, like, duck, and, like, some people just are absolutely like, you eat duck? Like, oh my gosh, how weird, you know, kind of something silly, silly like that. But, honestly, it's just a thing, you know? Okay. How close am I to- oh my gosh. How close am I? Am I even close? Okay, I'm like... Oh, this is not good. Okay, I, I dodged everything. Professor Oates came by here? Okay. Okay, I am thankfully in a city. So we have made it to a berry city and... Is this the daycare? Or is this where you're supposed to like, find stuff? Wait. Oh, I guess... Oh, that's cursed. I feel... Oh, I feel... This is cursed. This is so cursed. I, I hate this. I, I hate this so much. Okay, pawn... So I'm just gonna die if I'm not careful. So there's the black forest. I guess that's the safari zone? Of some sort? Oh, pie duck is really cute. Uh, okay, yeah. This is painted. Rip, sorry. Sorry, bye, sour. Uh... So, I kind of rushed through that area because it was taking a very long time. Uh, but also, I seem to be trapped. Uh, I need to get to Pokemon Center as soon as possible ASAP. Um, and it seems like it is down here, but uh, maybe? Question mark? Okay, there it is. And then Warden. Okay, let's do a really quick heal and then we'll explore the city a little bit more, but... Uh, Basically, yeah, we got our Smorlax and uh, don't know who it's going to replace. I, I feel like it should replace one of my Pokemon, um, but I have also a lot of Pokemon here. So let's just kind of take a look at where we are, uh, but just kind of to see. So we, I did skip a lot of trainers over here and what I'm going to do is probably is definitely go back here and uh train and then we'll save this route the strawberry slide chocolate hill and cotton crater for another episode separate kind of after the gym um but definitely i'm not going to tackle the gym for at least like two or so more episodes just because it is going to take a while uh and as well as just be wow instinct um it's gonna take a while um just to train everyone as well as, uh, I'm gonna look up the requirements to getting the XP share if I can't get to this episode, but I'm the warden, make sure people aren't lost in the woods. Okay, you got any strength, old merchants I still on display, photos and candy, those look like the fossils, interesting. So we're back in the city. Okay, there's some wild grass here? Milky Coast. Oh. Oh, 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 I was not expecting that. Um, but anyway, oh, it looks like the ice fish and gum cho- Oh! <sighs> cursed, I tell you, cursed is this playthrough. Honestly, it's not that bad. I just think some of the integrations are a little bit, uh, would be better to- not, not in a bad way. I, I, I really do admire the person who made this ROM hack, and I'm not saying anything about it, but I will have to say some of this, some of these Pokemon are honestly just cursed. Eggby. Eggby is chancy, and I am so bothered by that. Like, like, actually, I'm like, bothered. It's weird. I should not be bothered by it. It's kind of, it's just kind of, it, it kind of is weird though, because you kind of just took out the thing and turned it into a complete egg, which is a little bit weird, um, to say the least. But, tis how it be, and tis how it is. So, let's 
kind of how we're gonna roll with, but ice fish, ice fish. I thought ice fish was gonna be stun fisk, to be fair, because um, that made sense in my brain. Um, so, though, do they even have like stun fisk in this game? That would be interesting. Um, but nice, Valley Sower fought the lucky duckies and we're out of here. Very nice, very nice. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Sea of Milk. Oh, you can go down here? This is another route? Oh, this is probably to the very strange route. As well, found there are needed up in Rainbow Insidious. Very good place to swim up there. So apparently you can get an HM from the gym leader? Question mark? Um, I'll, I'll check that out. But this is the gym. Barry's record. I don't know who Barry is. But let's take a look. Cotton Crater and... Ooh, I did not... I always check every grassy area. Well, technically I was looking for the grassy area to see if there's any Pokemon. But I guess this works too. But it's Mintra and Furment. Oh, Furment looks really cute. Spearmint. It's like, you know... Um, everyone gets it, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, oh, that's actually really cute. I, I do like when they do like the, I do like when they do the, oh, improvise, what's that? Um, I do like when they do kind of, um, what do you call it? Kind of like a recoloring, just because I, I think how they, they're very creative with the recolorings, I will say, um, though I do have to though certain things can be of course improved on but that's kind of like saying like that's kind of like being nitpicky at that point i will say um overall though the i really just still really like this game i think it's a really good raw pack it is tough i will have to but i think in general fire red and leaf green were kind of a little bit harsher on like the grind so to speak um but what i'm definitely uh, okay. This is my turf. Get out of here. Okay. What we're definitely gonna do is just grind some more Pokemon. See, see what's gonna happen there. Uh, Mintrip and Mintrip. And, yeah, do a few more battles. And then we'll probably call it a day after that last... Um, after the last battle, kind of, with the guy in the corner down there. And then what I'm going to do is do try to do some more <laughs> off-screen training, hopefully not taking again five months, which I think I already repeated this topic earlier. Um, but yeah, definitely. And then, but we're, we're going to finish exploring Berry City. So actually after this battle, we I'm probably just going to just dip and we're going to leave that guy. Um, I'm not going to show him. There's really no need to. Um, no, so far no real new Pokemon. If I, I mean, if I, if I stumble upon him, it's not I mean, in the world, but Fury Blitz. Furry Blitz. Flur flurry. Flurry. Like McFlurry. I guess is like the best way to put it. Um, but yeah. Ooh, okay, well, good thing I put Scratch on that one, so it should be fine. Ooh, and we got a flinch ferment, which means we don't have to deal with that. Uh, very nice. We got 417, 417. Some more uh, poke, and then, yeah. Okay, so we, so this is kind of how the city looks, which is fine, I guess. Uh, down there, Jim. Let's kind of walk into some other houses and see what we got. Mood deleter, no. Okay, so the move reminder seemed to be up there. Right, and then there's the, there's the move deleter. And who's this person? I bake my own poke sweets. Or Tortal, if you can get me four chests of berries. Okay, so I can get one. I just need a... Uh, I just need to remove a... Uh, uh, one of the my Pokemon. So let's let's move some Pokies one out, and then let's get let's remove Ward Portal. 
So I currently have, let's see, I currently have six, three, six times three is 18, 18 plus two. So I have 20, I have 25 Pokemon currently. I think I need like 40 or something in order to, in order to get the, what do you call it? In order to get the XP share, um, I'm gonna have to check that again. Sure. Portal. Okay, and then let's take a look at them. Alright. Aww. I think it'd be better if his name was Tartoil. Okay, he's not strong at all, which is unfortunate. Um, but... Just kind of how it be sometimes, So I think there are other Pokemon we could get if we... Warden was over there. Oh, there's no one there. We checked that. And then... Oh, and this is the zoo to the Black Forest. Four zones with a different theme for the Black Forest. So I guess this is the Safari. Okay, I don't know what the rest of it. Make sure people don't get lost. I'm the move reminder. No. Okay. So it's crammed full of books. Great. All right. So actually, uh, since we're here, let's just maybe take a look at what the Black Forest has to offer. Halloween area? Interesting. Let's see. Can we? Catch Pokemon, I for zones, different, some even rare ones to have fun exploring. All right, hopefully we don't get lost, question mark. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to get lost, but center Christmas zone, east is Easter, west Valentine's, and north Halloween. So, rest house, let's just kind of pop in here and see what happens. Catching canes, let's take home as a gift. Why does this have like does that have like the Pokemon like Okay. So, oh, these are cute little custom trees. Okay, so this is not bad. It's not like it changes. Okay. I was I was here thinking they might have it change. Um, but I guess we might have to We might have to find some someone? Question mark? Alright. Alright, Hex Maniac gets the ferment and the parfum. That's a new Pokemon. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see, we'll just do our usual banana slip. And hopefully that should be enough to Oh my gosh, the parfum ran out. Unfortunately, hmm, I think a parfum would be very cute, cute to have. Oh, but it doesn't affect the parfum. It's vanilla. I wonder what the parfum is. Kind of. Oh, but raspberry? Ooh, maybe that's why. It's not. I thought it was going to be like kind of ghost type, but it's apparently, I guess, raspberry doesn't affect whatever the heck parfum is. I don't know what Parfum is. Okay, so we get level 30 on Bysaur. Bysaur's not bad. Bysaur is more of a status, kind of. Oh. I don't know what to do with that information. That It looks like that. I really don't. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so that's... Air blim? I guess it's an apple? Or it's like a... Oh no. Why do, why do you have zest? Why? Why do you have zest? Why, why do you have to do this to me? This is so not fair. Um, oh, this is, this is wonderful. I, I hate this so much. I... Oh, but it's, it's hurting them too. So I can't... I can't say much. Okay, we got rid of the parfum. Parfum. Fur. Fur. Parfum. Parfur. Yeah, I. It's a mouthful. 
I've been calling it Parfum, but I just also realized that the, the second to last letter is actually a an R and not an N. So that's... So Parfait... Par... Fur? Parfur? Parfur. I don't know how you pronounce F-U-R-E. Parf... Okay, oh, I see what it means by getting lost. Interesting. Okay, so that enters into that area. Goes down. Okay. Okay, you, you can get actually very lost here if you're not careful about which exits and entrances you go through. Okay, so this probably is another way to get through, or... Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um, just still kind of looking around a bit. Okay, I guess you can enter into this. Kind of just not really trying to fight anything and trying to just kind of... Um... Okay, this sign's not working. Interesting. Unfortunate. Oh, it kind of reminds me of, um, I think in Plat... No, no, not Platinum. In... Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you could actually, I think, move around the different Safari zones to in order to catch like certain Pokemon. And if you kept them longer there, they would, um, what do you call it? They would like produce like more rare Pokemon and so on and so forth. Um, I might have an, I don't know, maybe I'll have an extra episode dedicated straight to the Black Forest or something like that. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, actually, with that. I think I'm just gonna end the episode off here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, th and thank you for putting up with my weird uh, upload schedule. And yeah, have a great day or night wherever you are, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.